Are you ready to roll the dice? Thank you for coming to my channel. Today, I'm gonna play the match against Junichi Tanaka. This is a video part 3. Now, the score is 12-5 for Junichi Tanaka. He's leading by 7 points. I'm at the bottom with white checker, and Junichi Tanaka is at the top with black checker. This is match to 25. Wow, it's a long match. So he did uh, hit and split. It is an effective technique. Okay, I'm happy to make the 21 point anchor. 3 2. He can cover the 10 point, but yes, this is correct. Yeah, making the 21 point anchor is the best play. That's good. Double 3. Sure, I can cover my 10 point and I can make the 5 point. 6 5. He can't hide the blood, but he can cover the blood on the 10 point. Oh, it's a small error. Double 6. Wow! I believe this is my best dice. This is better than hitting. I believe so. Okay, jumping out is the easy part. Now, I can make the 9 point or the bar point. Okay, I correctly made the 9 point. Double 3 seems a good dice. He's behind by 20 pips before he rolled. Wow, it is a blunder. XG says, coming up to the 18 point is much, much better. Even though uh, Junichi is behind in the race. Yeah, I was counting the pips and I found it's not, uh, I don't have a big racing lead. Okay, 6-1. I have only one safe play. 6-2. Yes, that's correct. Oh, it's a small error. Really? I like his play. Hmm. Why it is bad? Oh, one. I don't, I don't want to give him an indirect shot. That's why I didn't clear the midpoint. Actually, cleaning the midpoint is a blunder. Wow. This slot on the two point, that's good. Five, two. Still, I don't want to give him an indirect shot, which is three, six, five, four. Uh, four shots. It's too many. Four shots is too many. Oh, but here, clearing the midpoint is okay. No problem at all. That's interesting. Why the difference is so small? Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe the lace is close? Took me a long time to play 5-2. Oh, by the way, I'm talking after the match, not during the match. This is a live match, of course, I can't talk during the match. Okay, my play is fine. Then, 3-2 for black. Oh, this is a good dice. Now, I could add my midpoint without leaving any shot. And because the race is closed, I'm, I, I, I'm gonna block him. Five, two. Nope, he finished playing five, two. Now, I'm on roll. 
So I have to think about the queue. I'm ahead by six pips. It's not big. That's why I didn't double. But she says, it's a borderline double, no double. 6-5. I have only one safe play. I'm ahead by 8 pips, but I have some bad dice, like a 6-1. Now, I'm wasting, uh, I'm burying my checkers on my 1 point and 2 point. Can he keep the anchor? No, I don't think so. He doesn't want, want to break his homeboard, so I like his play. Yeah, XG says, this is one and only play. Any others are blunders. He may think about double falcon. Coming out two checkers. Probably that's very bad. That's very bad. Yeah, it is a 500 blunder. I don't think he would choose that play. And of course, breaking the home board is also bad. Okay, 6-3. Again, I can play safely. 6-1. Oh, double 6, double 6. Now what? Now what? I have a small racing lead by 5 pips and I have a, a pick and, many pick and pass number 6163, 21, 23, double 1 and of course 62, double, double 3, double 2, they are jokers. So this is a clear double, this is a clear double. And white is behind in the score. It also pushes me to double. Yeah, and it's a good take. It's an easy take, actually. Did I roll double three? Okay. Uh, the placement of builders is not great, but still, a pointing on is the best play and I left a shot oh my goodness oh he missed black missed Ooh. this double three is fine good dice okay now we get a no contact position and then there's no technique re required Okay, the game is over. White got two points. Now the score is 12 7 for black. So black is 13 away and white is 18 away. Still, it's a long match. So, what was the reason we have a 25 point match? It's because of the, uh, it came from the final of World Championship. Before, uh, they had a 25 point match in the final, but not anymore. Yeah, they changed the format. At that period, we, had, we set the 25 point match to win the World Championship. And it's worked very well. Now, uh, Japan won World Championship five times. Okay, I came in. But the situation is not great. 
Yeah, Junichi Tanaka stopped and started thinking about offering a cue. Yes, he he's clearly the favorite, but Ekji says it's not enough. So probably at the even score or if Black is behind in the score, it would be a double. But because of the uh, five points lead, it's not double. Actually, says doubling is a blunder. Yeah, blocks in the blood on the two point is a is the liabilities. If block move that checker to his five point six order or seven point, then it would be a double. I guess so. Maybe still no double? Hmm. No way, okay. Anyway, so it, it is an easy take. I'm happy to take it. 6 2. Black can do match. Yeah, just play from the midpoint. I want to make the anchor. 6 5. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It's a good dice. Now the game is almost even. Black can cover the two point. Also, black can slot on the four point or the three point. Yeah, black has mul multiple good plays. Yeah, Junichi Tanaka chose a beautiful play. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I like it. 4-3. Okay, I played possibly, but that's fine. That's fine. Again, Black plays purely. Oh, double three. So I improved my position. It's still white is behind in the race. Uh, after double three, black uh, white is behind by three pips. Mm. So making the ten point is fine. Uh, from from the sixteen point to the ten point is fine. Yeah, and three men down is also fine. They are top two plays. We can take either way. We never make a mistake. But over the board, of course, I don't know what is the best choice. So it took me a long time. Leaving a blood intentionally is of course not good. Even though black has a two in a blood, black will have uh, many hit and cover. So I can't leave a shot. Okay. Now 5 4. Black is ahead in the race by. Six pips. Uh, no, no, three pips after the roll. Is it true? Oh, sorry. Uh, black is ahead by three pips before the roll. So after the roll, black is ahead by 12 pips. That's good. Actually, uh, yeah, what Junichi is thinking is uh, leaving the anchor. That is the best play. So that's great. That's great. Of course, the reason is that I, uh, it gives uh, only 11 shot plus white has an inner blood. That's the reason. Yeah, he chose two men down. It's a small error. I don't think it's not a big problem.
or free. It is an error. It is an error. Why? Because uh, I have anti joker double six. I will leave a shot with double six. I think that's the reason. Six three. Yeah, that's fine. Now I will not leave a uh, blood with double six, but uh, six one will be anti joker. Six two. Good dice. I'm happy to clear my 10 point. The race is almost equal, but black is slightly ahead, so uh, this is correct to move his anchor forward with double two. This is one and only choice. Any others are big errors. Good. Oh, double five. It is a game changer. Now white is ahead in the race. What? <laughs> Another double five? <laughs> okay. It is an exciting game. Double four? Wow. I just say wow. Now, Black wrote minimum number 2 1. Of course, this is his worst dice in the race. Now what? Now what? Actually, the 2 1 is good. It's a nice play. Okay, I redouble to 4. Yeah, I'm ahead by 4 pips, but I have a uh, better uh, uh, placement. I don't have any checker on my 1 point, and I have only 1 checker on my 2 point. So I have uh, better distribution and I'm ahead by two crossovers. I already took off one checker. Uh, on the contrary, black has one checker in the outfield. So I'm ahead by uh, two crossovers and four pips and better distribution. Uh, all in all, my winning chance is 72%. Because, because I'm behind in the score, yeah, uh, this is a nice redouble even though the winning chance is not very high. Usually, 72% winning chance is not enough for redouble. Maybe borderline redouble, borderline redouble. But because of the score, yeah, this is a strong redouble. And even at this score, it must be a take. My winning chance is 72. It's not very high. I don't think Junichi Tanaka would drop this cube. No. He correctly count pips and he found my racing lead is only 4 pips. Well. So guys, are you good at counting pips? Okay. It's yeah, counting pips is not a joy, but it is an important part in backgammon to get to a better player. So I, I don't recommend counting pips to the beginners, but if you go to the ad uh, advanced uh, player, oh, 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 he dropped the cube! He dropped the cube! Wow! Oh my goodness! White winning chance is only 72. So even at this score, it is a take. But, yeah, okay. I'm talking uh, with checking the analysis. So of course, over the board, everything is much, much more difficult. All right, anyway, now the score is 12-9 uh, for black. The, the difference is three points. I'm not gonna hit. I know some people would double hit, but it's very bad play. Double hitting is a uh, okay, 160 blunder. Here, double hitting is okay. <laughs> 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 
But actually, still it's not good. Really. I do hit too, yes. I do the same as him. Okay, 6 1. This is easy, easy, yes. Making the bar point is a blunder. Yeah, pick and pass. Pick and cover. Is a bit oh, did I dance? Wow. And he rolled double two. He can attack on the five point, but of course, making two new points will be better. Yes, making the four point and eleven point is clearly better. Where is hitting? Oh, hitting is 160 blunder. Of course, Jinch chose the right play. And did I dance? What? Oh, that's very bad. Of course, this is a cube. Of course. So first, I need to know how many check cards in the zone. Black has 2, 4, 6, 8, 11. Black has 11 check cards in the zone. It's very strong. It's very strong. But white made a bar point. That's a good news. That's a very good news. So maybe as an even score, it's a very difficult cube. But even though it's an even score, well, yeah. Well, well, well. Actually, I have a system uh, to measure the strength of the doubler. And so I, I was checking, I was, I was measuring the strength of the doubler. Yeah, and I found it's a take. I'm sorry, I can't talk about it. I can't talk about it here because I'm developing the system with my friends. So uh, without the permission of my friend, I can't talk about it. I'm sorry about that. So my first in intuition says it's a pass. Yeah, it's a, it, it is a typical blitzing position and black has 11 check cards in the zone. Even though white made a bar point, it seems very strong, but uh, with uh, with a new system, the system says it's a take. But so uh, yeah, I took it over the board, and it's it's a very good take. I'm very happy with that. With that. Now six four. So hitting for sure, not 100% sure. The question is, how to play a 4? That's a real question. Yeah, he chose bringing it down. It's a small error. Actually it says 24-20 is slightly better. Okay, I came in without hitting. Above 5? Oh my goodness. It's a damn good dice. Even though Black cannot cover his 5 point blot. Yeah, he pointed on the 3 point, and now Black has 13 check cards in the zone. It's way strong. Okay, I hit him. That's great. That's great. Of course, black continues to attack. This is an easy play. Oh, I danced. Okay, 6-4 is not great. It's not great because black cannot cover the 5-point block. But on the contrary, black can make the 2-point. Now, black can 
occupy the fifth point in his inner、uh, home board. So making the two point must be correct. But he is thinking about running. Yeah, black has three back checkers. And white made the borrow point. White has a three prime. This is not very strong, but the three prime is three prime. Maybe that's the motivation、uh, black is thinking about running. But imagine black can feel the fifth point in his home board. And my, check, my two back checkers are on the ball. Yeah, just make the two point must be fine. The downside of making a two point is now black has only、uh, one builder to cover the five point. But after、uh, then, If black covers a five point, black complete a close out. Yeah, learning is a blunder. Okay, I danced again. Now, black is happy to cover. Why? It's brutal. Oh, I came in. That's nice. That's nice. Three one. It's a good news. He can't, he can't attack me. This is a very nice play. Okay, coming up to 20 points seems natural, but 8 to 7 is a wonderful play. What? Double 2? Wow! I rolled my best dice by far. That's tremendous. That's tremendous. Okay, now it's time to offer r i k u Of course, it's because of the score. But I have many shots, many shots. So, Black had two blots,、uh, three blots in the outfield. I can, I can hit them with any twos, fours, fives, sixes. Also, I can, I can attack my. Three points with any threes and any fives. So most of my numbers work very well. Only ones are bad. Only ones are bad. Over the board, I thought it's a very strong cube. Maybe borderline take pass? That's what I thought over the board. But I was totally wrong. First, My winning chance is only 60%. Only 60%. So, even at this score, this、uh, redouble is not very strong. It is a redouble, it is a correct redouble, but it's, it's an easy, easy, easy take. Well, yeah. Maybe this is my tendency or human nature. Uh, I wrote a joker. I was a huge underdog. Now I'm the favorite. Oh, I'm very happy. Let's offer a cube. Yeah. Yeah. I should be very careful. I should be careful. Yeah. Even though it's, I became a favorite, often it's not enough to offer a cube. Okay. So Junichi Tanaka correctly took the cube. Yeah, it's a good, good take. I fear some people would drop. Okay, 5 2 is a good dice. Now his two checkers are on the bar. Okay, Black made the anchor. This is great. Anchor is great. And 3 2? Oh, this is a poor dice. This is poor dice. All I can do is、uh, hiding a blot. 5 4. <laughs> This is interesting. I believe many people would automatically hide the blot on the 8 point. But his first choice was coming out. And this is correct. Wow. This is great. Why that? 
Why that? Because I have so many checkers on my six point. So avoid the opponent's stacked point is a common idea in backgammon. Yeah, and my midpoint is straight. Yeah, it's a very nice play. Great play. Okay, I rolled 4 3, so of course I chose pick and pass, but it's a small error. It's a small error. He came in with 1 5. Now he has no option, it's, it's automatic. 6-2 from the ball. I have to come out. I have to come out. Okay, Black has some jokers. What? Come on. He got me. Wow. It's sad. And I danced. <sighs> now, black stopped. I would drop, drop of course. Yeah, and the Junichi is correct. This is too good. This is a big too good. So he correctly didn't redouble. Very good decision. Now, can I come in? What? Double to again? Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. So I rolled Joker double two twice in one game. Yeah, I come in, I came in, hit, and made a four point. Okay, three four is nice, good dice. So he made the anchor, and, and now he can switch his anchor to the bar point. So which is better? Yeah, bar point anchor is a better anchor. Yeah, this is good. This is good. I rolled 3 1. Yeah, I wanted to come out, but I couldn't. Okay, 2 1 is a good dice. Of course, he attacks me. Now, my check guy is on the bar against a 5-point board. Oh, I danced. 5-3. Yeah, he brings his builder. Yes, he has two options. But, coming to the 10th point looks better. Because now his eight will work to cover the two point. So he has six, six great numbers. Oh, I danced again. This is not good. Oh, he rolled eight. That's brutal. That's brutal. Now he completed a close out. Wow, wow, wow. This is really bad. Oh, by the way, about cube action, this is borderline uh, redouble, no redouble. This is borderline too good or not. And he wrote 5 3. This is not great. This is not great. And then 5 1. Now, 
Okay. He wrote bad dice. No, 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 no. So in Japan, dice on check card doesn't count. We need to reroll. Good. Good. I came in. Then came to the 15 point, but it's a small error. Actually says 6 to 2 is slightly better. Hmm. I don't know why. With 4-3, Black can keep his anchor by breaking the home board. But, yes, coming out is much better. Yeah, Black has to keep a strong home board. Okay. I'm Attacking on the 3 point for sure, then I have an option making the bar point or the 2 points. Which is better? I'm checking now. The benefit of making the 2 point is, now I have a potential to pick up the, the second checker. That's the benefit. But, the value of the structure... Yeah. The value of the bar point is much, much, much higher. So XG says, making the bar point has, uh, high, is, has higher winning chance by 7%. And making the two point has higher winning higher gamma winning chance by 7%. Yeah, I'm happy that I finally corrected the, the right play. Okay, he came in but he couldn't hit me. Alright, I completed a full prime. So how I play a one? Yeah, I'm ha I'm happy with my play. I chose five to four, and this is the best play because now I was checking my bad dice. Okay, double double three will be a good dice anyway. So uh, after my play, double four works and double two works. That's the reason I chose this play. Yeah. I'm very happy with it. Okay, I extend my full prime. Six three is not my best. He came in. Okay, I completed a close out. Or still I intentionally open my one point? Nope. Nope, it's unnecessary. I finished bearing me in. I can play safely. I took a small risk, and it's a small error. Now I regret. Now my position is very bad. Ooh, double one is good. I left a shot. I left a shot. I automatically clear from the rear, but it's a bad play because uh, the next uh, my bad dice is okay. My play uh, give, will give me the minimum uh, bad dice next turn, but 
uh, if I take one check uh, uh, from the four point, then uh, I have four extra bad, bad numbers next. So four extra bad number is not is not a huge difference, and the opponent uh, six point is open. So all in all, uh, taking two checkers off has a higher winning chance and slightly higher yam winning chance. Yeah, at least I should I should spend more time. I play too quickly. That's bad. Okay, he missed, he missed, he danced. <laughs> and uh, repeater, I gave a shot again. All right, he missed again. I got lucky, I got very, very lucky. Now I'm going to win the game. Now this is 100%. Yeah. Okay, white got two points. Now the score is. Uh, a, oh, no, no, no. White got four points. Four points! Wow, now white is ahead in the score. What a turnaround! This is amazing. This is amazing. The score is 13 12 for white. White is 12 away, and black is 13 away. What an accomplishment. But it's not an accomplishment, it's just in the middle of the game. Okay, 5 4 is not my best. I just hide my two blood. Black correctly made a four point. Three two. Mm. I can play thirteen eight, but I I uh, I unstuck to my six point. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Over the board, I was unsure. I was unsure over the board. Six five. Yeah, making a three point uh, seems natural. Yeah, that seems natural. Actually, says thirteen seven six to one is also fine. I covered my four point blood. Covering the 8 points seems natural, but if he chose the attack on the 1 point, it's also good. It's also a good play, yeah, because of my inner blood. Okay, I wrote good dice. He also hit back, but after hitting, his 1 should be 6 to 5. And black have to hit. Black have to hit. Yes. Yeah, he doesn't hesitate. Oh, danced? Oh, come on. Come on. This dancing is too much. Wow. Yes. This is a good curve. This is a good curve. It seems an easy take, but my check card is on the bar, and uh, I have another blood on his A point. He has two inner bloods, but uh, he has nine check cards in the zone. 
and he can cover his inner blood with any ones, any fours, and any fives. Hmm. He made a golden point. That's great. And Black's downside is he has a third back checker. It is a big downside. This is tough. This is tough. So my intuition said it's a take, but I finally dropped the cue. And it's a good decision. Yeah. I'm very happy with that. Yeah, it's a nice pass. <laughs> yeah. We ate chocolate with nuts. You know, I'm a nuts eater. I love eating nuts. Okay, 5 1 for white. I often slot on the 5 point with 5 1, but not this time. Four one is not my best. Yeah, my play is fine. Five one. Do you know how does he play this dice? Yes, double tiger. He knew that, of course. He didn't hesitate. Oh, I couldn't hit back. That's bad. Four two. Well. So all he can do is 5 to 3, or he can point on the 1 point, which is better? Well, which is better? Oh, he, uh, he chose to cover the 3 point, but surprisingly, pointing on the 1 point is better. Really? It seems very weak. Yeah, making the one point seems very weak. I prefer his choice. Why it's so bad? I'm not sure. Okay, 6-2. I can come out. But, yeah, yeah. Hitting on the 5 point is a natural play. 5 for a good point. And he hits back. Yeah, he has only one reasonable 3, which is 13 10. Hmm. No. 5 1 from the bar. Yeah, I am consistent. Yeah, 5 for a good, good point. Hitting loose on the 5 point. Oh, he danced! With the double 6! I got a great opportunity. Double 5? Are you kidding me? Of course, I can do hit and cover the 5 point block. But at the same time, I can do the pointing on the 3 point. So which is better? Yeah, actually, 5 point is more important. After I cover the 5 point, I correctly hit loose on the 3 point. Okay, he hits back. Yeah, I was thinking about the cube. But it's a big no, no double. F double 4 from the bar? It's a very good dice. Yeah, making the four point is an easy part. And, yeah, I hid my blood. Mm. Three, five from the ball. So I'm happy that I hid my blood. Three good dice. I can make the bar point, but 
then I will lose my midpoint and give a flat leg shot. Yeah, that's why I didn't make the bar point. 6-5, comfortable. Yep, running to the midpoint. 5-3, I can make the one point, but is it okay? Yeah, I can come out. Yeah. So coming out is fine. Yeah. And making the one point is an error by 50. Okay, he got me. He got me. Playing a 2 is not easy. He can hide the blood. Or he can play it to 6. What? Uh, he chose a to six and it's a blunder it's a blunder the best play is a safe play wow so after his play i have many shots one three two three four six four three five three double five i have 11 shots okay okay uh, so white has the best possible three point board and giving 11 shot uh, is unnecessary yeah 11 shot is too much too many now I understand it. Okay, one six I couldn't hit. Three two. He correctly slot on the five point. Double six. Yeah, I don't have many choice. Three two. Yeah. He's developing his board. 5-4. Oh. This is an error. This is an error. Yeah, I thought this is a natural play because he has an inner blood and his hitting number 2 is duplicated for covering his four point blood but yeah what I found after the match is uh, yeah the benefit is almost nothing so 18 to 14 seems fine but the benefit is almost nothing whatever my check is on the 18 point or the 14 point it's not a big deal so my play just gives him, him a joker uh, double one, double two, and two four. Four great numbers. It's just unnecessary. It's just unnecessary. And hero four two. Hero four two. I regret. I regret that. Okay. I wrote Joker. I wrote Joker. This is a great dice. This is a great dice. And he danced? Oh my goodness. Mm. Now what I can do? Now what I can do? Is it a double? I have many shots. I have many shots. Yeah, actually, the game is over because I have too many, uh, too many shots. Yeah, any threes, any fives, plus double one, one, two, four, one. And uh, that's it. Yeah, I have 25 shots. This is too good. My winning chance is 76% and my game winning chance is, wow, 48%. So I correctly roll the dice without redoubling. 6-4 is not my best. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, yeah five to one, uh, no shot. Oh my goodness, he got me, he got me. What a game! What a game! So many jokers, <laughs> and I wrote joker again. How is that possible? How is that possible? 
Again, this is too good. Again, this is too good. It's so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> okay. Here I cash because uh, my back checker is on his one point. Now I can come out with only six. That's the reason I cashed. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Wow. We both wrote many jokers. Mm. Okay, so this game is great for watching, but for the players, not so great. Now the score is 14 13. I'm 11 away, he's 12 away. 12 away. Okay, 5 4 for black. Because he's behind in the score, he chokes the man down. So his, his style is similar to mine. I also chose two men down. Yeah, this is a natural play. And he got me. Five, two. Okay. I covered the 11 point blot. And two, one. He can make the bar point, or he can hit loose on the five point, which is better. Yeah, he had two good options. This is not easy. Okay, making the seven point is fine, but then it gives white a many shots. Yeah, actually, yeah, okay, I think, yeah, after making the bar point, now white has many shots, but a hitting with a three is not great. Yeah. Then white will sacrifice his uh, midpoint. So only hitting with a one is fine, but one will be en good anyway because three one six one, I can make make the five point. Yeah, and what black is way ahead in the race. Yeah, with all the all these reasons, making the bar point is fine. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Double four is just great. Now I pick up two blood. What a wonderful dice. Okay, he rolled double four again. <laughs> what a game. This double four is more in difficult. Of course, pointing on the 4 point is fine. And now he can hit on the 9 point as well. Okay. His play is fine. I'm happy to make the a curing point. Curing point is a, another name of the golden point. When the opponent made a 4 point. Okay. The black also made a golden point. Five four. Well, yeah, coming out must be the best use of the five. And actually, says two men down is also fine. Anyway, he chose the best best play. That's good. And two one. I can do pick and pass. Yeah. Look, I'm the race is almost even. And black has a stronger homeboard. So hitting contest is not great for white. And also, even race suggests me a safe play.
I think I was counting the pips over the, over the board. Well, well, well. Mm, it took me a long time. You know, I'm talking after the match, so I knew everything. <laughs> like a cheating. Yeah, generally, when we made the advanced anchor, we want to play safely when we have options. And the opponent has a stronger home board, the race is almost even. It's all in all, a safe play is better. Actually, safe play has a higher winning chance. And hitting has a higher gammon winning chance and higher gammon losing chance. Okay, I'm happy that I chose the correct play. He covers a 9-point block. Wow, my play is an error. Clear, clear error. I don't know why. Oh, this is too difficult for me. So, of course, I can make my 4-point, four, four but I, I wanted to work my semi checker on the 3-point. I don't like the resulting position. Yeah, mo uh, most of points are stripped. But my play, 3 2 1, is a small error. I don't know why. Hmm. I like my play. Three, two. Normal play is 13-8, but because I leave two in a blot, he chose a bold play. <laughs> it's a small error. Just 13-8 is fine. Okay, I also rolled 3-2. Yeah, I don't have much, many options. This 4 2 is inter interesting. Mm. Yeah, two men down is good. I like his play. I also chose two men down, which is a safe play. He didn't want to kill a checker. He didn't want to create a semi dead checker. It's a very nice play. Very nice play. It shows his great ability. Double four? Okay. I believe this is my second best dice. The best is double five. So double four must be a second best. Black made a five point. Is it error? I don't think so. What? Anyway, now I stopped and now I'm, I'm counting pips. Okay, white is ahead by nine pips. And still, there are many contacts. So, nine pips lead is not enough. Yeah, I correctly rolled the dice. And I rolled double five! Wow. Now, I'm winning the game. I'm winning the game. 
he also wrote a big number 65 but it can't change cube action okay so I immediately doubled because I'm ahead by 18 pips so my racing lead is big based on my pip count 85 it's like a 20% lead so if it's a no contact position it must be a huge pass but because of the, uh, the contact and I killed my six checkers it's a clear take and actually it's a good take it's a good take I think many people would drop it Ooh, double four. Excellent dice. Double three. Nope, still he's behind in the race. Way behind. Yes, that's correct. He should leave one checker on my five point. Okay, I finished bearing him. That's good. He correctly slot on the one point two one. Yeah, it's two one. Covering the one point, uh, sorry, covering the two point. No, it's unnecessary. Still black stays back. Yeah, I have bad die six five. Five two is okay, even though I can't take any checkers off. Four three. Yeah, should he go or should he stay? Yes, he should stay. Nice. Ooh. I don't want to reroll. In Japan, dice on checker doesn't count, so I have to reroll. Okay, now we got to the no contact position. Now the game is very simple. Yeah, probably I I win the game. Still it's not 100%, but Black's chance is so tiny. Still it's possible. I know that still it's possible. it's possible yeah yes it's possible yes okay it's not possible anymore now the score is 16 13 for white okay uh, so here we took a break and uh, now the video is uh, video ends so did you enjoy the uh, video part 3? Okay, so thank you for watching the video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel and leave any comments. I wish you good luck and good dice. Bye for now and see you in video part 4.